breaking, shock country launches airstrikes, this could get ugly. The world is a place full of turmoil and uncertainty, and countries seem to betray one another without the bat of an eye. A recent airstrike has caught the attention of many around the world, and for good reason. Reports are coming in stating that Egypt has conducted a full airstrike against suspected terrorists. The attack is in response to militants who murdered over 300 worshippers at a mosque in Sinai village of Bir Alabad, according to Independent. The attack commenced after Egypt's president said that he would respond against the militants with utmost force. A source from within Egypt's military confirmed that they were going after a trail of extremists in their vehicles. During this event, multiple vehicles were destroyed. Egypt's air force is following the trail of the terrorists and has destroyed two or three of their vehicles, the source in the military confirmed. Sources on the ground reported that everyone in the vehicles during the airstrikes died. At this time, there is no official word on whether some of the deaths occurred due to the vehicular explosions. The airstrikes occurred in a mountain-filled region surrounding Bur Alabad, a small village located roughly 40 kilometers west of Alarish, North Sinai's central city. The airstrikes came mere hours after the initial attack. Egypt was forced to respond after facing what is shaping up to be the deadliest attack by Islamic extremists in the country's modern history. The 305 casualties were confirmed Saturday morning, though the death toll is still rising. Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, Egypt's president, gave an on-air announcement to the nation following the attacks. He made it clear, the armed forces and the police will avenge our martyrs and restore security and stability with the utmost force. The Egyptian president went on to say that, what is happening is an attempt to stop us from our efforts in the fight against terrorism, to destroy our efforts to stop the terrible criminal plan that aimed to destroy what is left of our region. Attempting to clamp down on the extremists in the area only drove them to commit this horrific act. Egypt responded in a way that shows that they are not afraid of Islamic extremists. During the terrorist attack, five vehicles, all carrying between 25 and 30 armed men, appeared at the Rada Mosque right before the noon prayer began. Sheikh Mohammed Abdel Fattah Zurek, the cleric, said that at least 12 men marched in and began opening fire inside and around the mosque. Sources near the attack also reported hearing explosions. Though the source of the explosions is unknown at this time, some believe that rocket-propelled grenades were involved. A witness to the attack, 38-year-old Mansur, said that everyone got down as the attack commenced for roughly 20 minutes. At the time of the attack, the extremists were heard yelling the Akbar, an Islamic extremist staple all over the world. There is no word on whether the militants plan on retaliating against Egypt for their airstrike attack. If they do, it's likely Egypt's next move will be even greater. Later.